Hey guys, so today we're going to take and we're going to go over the bed leveling procedures used for both the G Tech machines, artillery, CR10 machines. <laughs> Pretty much if your printer does not have a bed probe, this is going to be how you level it. So once again, this goes for all the G Tech machines, the the A10, the A10M, the A20, the A20M, the A30, the A30M when it comes out. Pretty much any of those printers that has this style, as they call the the Prusa style, it's not a Prusa, but it's it's that style. Uh, same way with Artillery 3D, there's a little bit different procedure, which is the same kind that goes with the A30, but we'll get into that here in a moment. We'll just we'll distinguish the two. <laughs> But anyway, I'll show you how to do it with a piece of paper. And once again, this is going to be if a printer does not have the bed probe. If it's got the bed probe, this isn't the video for you. You need to find another video where they cover that. I personally don't care for bed probes because if you need a bed probe, then you're you're talking about a, a bed that is warped, which honestly, at that point, you need to deal with the warped bed. You don't need to be dealing with a bed uh, leveling probe to, to take care of a problem that needs to be fixed in the first place. Anyway, let's get into it. Yeah, I'll catch you in a bit. Okay, starting with the A10M in this case, which like I says, for all the, the G-Tech A-Series printers, first thing you wanna do is you wanna heat everything up. So go down to prepare, preheat PLA, let the machine warm up. Once it's completely warmed up, then we'll continue. Now, while we're entering the final moments of this bed and the nozzle heating up, heating up let's explain a reason why you warm, want to warm everything up. Number one, if you have any filament on the end of your nozzle and it's hard from being cold, then when you go to level your bed, it will not be accurate. Number two, you want the bed to be warm. That way, if there is any f differences in the bed height, whatever, you're going to be leveling at temperature that way if there is any, indisc any discrepancies between when it's cold and when it's hot you're going to be taking care of that because you're going to be leveling at the temperature that you will be printing at I usually recommend 65 degrees for the bed with the GTEC super plate uh, I find that usually works pretty good when it comes to regular glass as well everybody has their own preferences that's my particular preference Typically, when I'm printing with PLA, I'm going to be printing between 200 to 205, maybe 210, maybe 220. But the main thing with the nozzle is to make sure that the whatever is on the end of the nozzle is molten so that when we level it, it's not interfering with the leveling process. We're at temperature. Let's go ahead and start the leveling process. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this, we're going to poke it, go down to prepare. We're going to auto home once it homes then we're going to go to disable steppers click it now that levels the steppers are disabled that allows us to go ahead and start the leveling process okay number one grab a piece of paper a piece of typing paper a piece of printer paper it's 20 pound paper it's just paper you can get some junk mail it's paper don't use a metal feeler gauge because it will not give you the right reading you will not feel the difference it'll be so slick you're not going to feel the difference you're going to over tighten you're going to under tighten it doesn't matter just use paper it's simple <laughs> don't over complicate it you want to pull the bed plate out a little bit so that you're not near one of these clips but you don't want to be so far back that you're at the middle of the plate. You just want it a little bit back from, from the edge. Take your paper, place it there, move your nozzle over so that it is somewhat over this leveling screw right there. You will drag your paper back and forth. What you're looking for is a little bit of tension. Now see if I push it right there, how it's buckling a little bit. That's really a little bit too tight. So what I want to do is I want to tighten it so it pulls the spring down. It pulls the bed away from the nozzle. That loosens it. 
There it's moving freely, but I feel a little bit of drag. That's all you want. Then move it to the other side. Now I can tell you right now, that side's feeling pretty tight. Once again, we want to tighten that up a little bit. Not tremendously, just a little bit. And once again, you see I've got to hold the paper back a little bit. See how it's not buckling whenever I do it? That's about right. You will then take and move it. And once again, it's notice this filament. That's the reason why you heat it up. Now, we'll drag it back and forth there. As you can see, that's just fine. I'm not worried about it. Bring it back there. There we go. See that right there, how it's buckling up? That's too tight. So we need to tighten the bed once again to bring it down away from the nozzle. I'm just trying to make sure I'm doing it the right direction because I'm not behind it. <laughs> there we go. It's getting a little bit looser. That was pretty tight. And see, I did a little bit too loose that time. So I'm going to just move it that way. Just a less than a quarter of a turn, more like about an eighth of a turn. Just so I've got enough drag there. Now what you can do is if you want to, you can go to the middle of the bill plate and check it. It should be just fine. Once again, you don't want it tight. You don't want it loose. You just want where you can move it. You just want to feel the tension. Maybe even hear the paper rubbing the bed, rubbing the nozzle. But you don't want to take and over tighten it. You don't want to under tighten it either. Let's so move it over to the side. That's perfectly fine like that. So now let's just go ahead and start a print. Okay. So I'm starting a print, and once it starts laying down, let's take a look at how it's laying down. And usually what I recommend is just give it a little quick little prime just to make sure that all the plastic is flowing out of the nozzle before it starts. That way you don't have any gaps in your skirt or in the rest of the print. Okay, now see how it's laying down there? It's sticking to the bed just fine. We'll find out here in a moment how good it's how good it is. Now, if I had selected a print that actually had a skirt all the way around it, one of the fastest ways of telling is just take your finger, put it on the the string after it prints on the little filament, roll it with just lightly with your finger. If it rolls off the bed, you're too far. Your bed's too far down from the nozzle. You can actually adjust it right here while it's printing. Just watch your fingers, make sure that you don't get pinched or anything. Okay, that's good enough. We're just going to go ahead and kill this print. So I'm going to say stop print. And we're just going to move this off to the side by once again going to prepare, disable steppers, pull the bed out a little bit, push it over to the side. Now see when I roll my finger across that? Just lightly moving my finger across it, it's not releasing from the bed. That's exactly where you want it. You don't have to have it dug into the, to the bill plate. It just needs to be just enough. And you can see it is adhered pretty good to that bill plate. That's what you want. Later on, I'll cover the settings in Kira, uh, how to have it where it extrudes a little bit more plastic on the first layer. You also want to start out with a 0.3 layer height for your initial layer, but we'll cover all that in another video. Now that we're done with the A20M, let's go ahead and move over to the Artillery 3D. The Artillery 3D will cover when it comes to the A30, I'm probably the A30M, anything that's got the touch screen to it. These you have a little bit different way of leveling, but let's go ahead and go over that now. Okay, so now that we're over here on the Artillery 3D, first thing we want to do is we want to go to Tools. You'll select that, you'll go to Heat. We'll go ahead and preheat everything, same as we did with the other. Except for this case, we're going to start with Extruder. Let's, yeah, Extruder. We're going to go by multiples of 10. You can actually change that right here. Goes when Celsius, five degrees Celsius, 10 degrees Celsius. We want to take that up to about 200. Move to the bed, move it up to, we'll just do it for 60, that's good enough. Now, as you can see, the bed is heating up a whole lot faster than what the A20M did, mainly because it's got a 110 volt uh, bed to it. So it heats up a lot faster because you got mains power going to it. So, while that's finishing up, let's go ahead and go out of this. We're going to move to level. It's a very touchy screen, by the way. <laughs> I didn't even touch the screen. 
there's different ways we can do this first actually before we do that let's go ahead and just go to home we're going to home everything now the way we're going to take care of the leveling process on this we're going to use the the assisted leveling and the way that works you'll go to level and you'll select these different portions of the bed you'll start with the first position which is going to be in the front at the on this left hand side second will be in the front on the on the right hand side third fourth and the fifth being right in the middle okay so let's go ahead and get the camera focused on the bed let's start the leveling procedure okay so once again using a piece of paper <laughs> like i said junk mail 20 pound paper not cardstock just everyday junk mail type paper in the case of this printer i put build tech on it now if you're using a glass bed you'll use a single sheet a, just a single layer of paper if you're going to level build, build tech you fold the paper over you want two pieces of paper or two thicknesses of paper that's all you need now we could take and level it kind of like we did the other one but in this case since it's assisted we're just going to take the paper stick it underneath the nozzle hit the first it'll take it to the first point on the bill plate now once again you're going to drag the paper across it in this case it feels about right but we can go a little bit tighter so we can actually loosen the screw in order to raise the bed allow the screw to the springs to raise the bed to the nozzle that feels pretty good once again we're going to hit the second button and let me show you right here second there we go get you moved back over here <laughs> okay once again that's pretty tight uh that's actually probably going to be about right it's once again it's not where it's flexing the paper but i can feel there's a little bit more tension there and actually i can tighten just tighten the screw just a hair just to make it a little bit more manageable we're going to go to the third position it's going to take it right back here that feels about right fourth position I usually like to follow the nozzle with the paper just to keep it from scratching the bill plate just in case there's an issue. Once again, that feels pretty good. And if we want to do the fifth position, that's going to be in the center of the bill plate. Feels pretty good. Once again, if you do this and your bed is warped, you've got other issues going on. I would, I would recommend taking care of the warped bed rather than to moving to a bed probe. A bed probe does a pretty good job for leveling on the fly providing the bed isn't just completely warped if it's completely warped the software is going to have a hard time selecting enough points on the, your build plate in order to correct all the, the the discrepancies in the build plate so i really recommend addressing the issue rather than trying to fix the problem using a bed probe well guys there it is that's how you level your build plate using a piece of paper doesn't require any special equipment just a normal piece of junk mill piece of paper if it's cardstock it's too thick just a piece of paper for glass for the gtec super plate i think there's a couple other ones use the same kind of a silicone or some kind of a build surface single piece of paper if you're using build tack two thickness of regular piece of paper <laughs> that's all you got to do to it um, quick piece of advice if your springs on your build plate are up too high you can have build plate issues as far as leveling you want to tighten them down so it's at least halfway compressed um, then of course G adjust your z-stop in order to to lower everything down a little bit by having it pre-loaded that way with your springs tightened down whenever your build plate comes up to temperature it's not going to have issues where the springs are going to want to give down a little bit they're not going to change change uh, shape on you in any way by having them pre-compressed by having them tightened down uh, you're going to find that you're going to have to level your build plate a whole lot less than you will if you have them all the way extended if your springs are not compressed you will have issues 
Once again, this video does not cover bed probes. This has to do with leveling the bed the old fashioned way. If your bed is warped, you need to address your, your work bed. That's to me, that's, that's the biggest issue. A bed probe can only do so much because it only has certain areas of the bill, bill plate that it's going to, to account for. It's not going to account for every dis discrepancy in that bill plate. So I really recommend getting your bill plate taken care of if it is warped. Either go with a, G a uh, build tack or one of the other manufacturers of a uh, flex plate. So it has the magnets that attaches to your build plate and then you have your flex plate that goes on top of it like, G uh, like a build tack has. Or you can go with the, I believe it's called bill. I'm going to mess this one up. It's the heat, the type of bed glasses meant for 3D printing. Borosilicate, I believe is how it's pronounced. Don't quote me on that, but it starts with a B. If you just look up something like that on, on Amazon, you'll see it. That glass is meant for the temperature differential of heating up to 60, 100, 110 degrees Celsius and be able to take a little bit of thermal shock. A sheet of glass from Home Depot or Lowe's is not meant to take that kind of, of shock. You stand a chance of having an issue where the glass will actually break on you, and then you've got shards of glass laying around that you don't need around your children, around pets, or in your finger. But uh, I really recommend taking care of your bill plate first. With that said, this video once again covers all the GTEC A20 machine, or GTEC A machines as I should call them, A10, A20, M's. When it comes to the A30, go with the instructions for the used on the artillery. Once again, artillery is covered in this one. CR10, Ender 3, Ender this, Ender that. If the printer has a bed that goes back and forth like this, looks somewhat like this, please use this video and I hope it helps you out. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Take care. Bye. I swear if I see another post on Facebook. Oh my God.